Hi, I'm Patty. I'm a jewelry designer here at Fire Mountain Gems and Beads, and today I'm going to be taking you through making these amazing carnelian earrings. So in this project, we're going to be using these beautiful pre-made carnelian posts, some carnelian chips and heishis, some gold-plated chain, and some gold-plated leaf drops. Also, a few of these little eye pins. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut my chain. So when you're cutting chain to specific lengths, when I'm doing a really small amount of chain like this, I like to go by the link and not use um, a ruler and go by the inch. Um, the reason being is that whether you have an odd amount of lengths or an even amount of lengths makes a difference in the orientation of your little dangles. So here, um, because of the way that this hangs, we've used an odd amount of lengths. So we have seven and 10. So let's take some of this chain and I'm just going to lay it out nice and flat. Take my flush cutter and I'm just gonna count from the bottom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so the link right above that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut with my flush cutter one side and then the other. Okay, so we've got our seven link length and I've already cut a 10 length length there. So we'll go ahead and grab some of the eye pins. We'll need three eye pins to make this design. We'll need a couple of leaves here, a couple of heishis, and we'll grab the chips in a minute. There's kind of a special way I do those, and our little post. So let's go ahead and start assembling these drops at the bottom. So we've got our little leaf, and an eye pin. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the eye pin to the leaf. The way that I do that is I take my chain nose pliers and I open up the loop on the eye pin sideways, add the leaf, and then I'll close it up sideways just the way I opened it. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add on one of the chips and one of the heishis. So when I'm adding chips, these beautiful natural shaped chips to a project, I like to shake out quite a few and choose the one with the shape that's most pleasing for the design. I want kind of a larger chip that's maybe a little um, interesting shaped. This one is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread that onto my eye pin thread on the heishi, or heshi, everyone has a different way of saying it. Oops. There we go. And then I'm going to just make a simple loop at the top of that. So I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and um, in the sideways direction here, I'm going to make a bend that's almost 90 degrees. And then I'll go ahead and make a simple loop with my round nose pliers. So I'll put the pliers, kind of just the tip, we don't need a very big loop, right in the bend there. And I'll push the wire around, pull the top barrel out, put the bottom barrel in, and continue pushing that all the way around. And then I'm just gonna kind of roll it until it hits the beads and then kick it back up a little bit and then we have a perfect circle. Then I'll use the flush cutter to cut out the tail. And I'm just gonna add that to one of my lengths of chain. And then I'll take my chain nose plier and open up that loop a little bit and then close it sideways and I'm gonna rock it back and forth a little bit to get a nice tight connection. 
And so there we have our first dangle. Now we'll make the second one. And there I have my second dangle. Okay, next we're going to be using the last eye pin to make the little link here with the two chips and attach that to the post. So first I think I'll actually attach it to the post. We'll open that up, attach that on. and close that back sideways just the way we opened it. Rock it back and forth a little bit, whoops. Let me turn that around so it's facing the right way. Just make sure you have a really nice tight connection. There we go. And then choose a couple of chips. I want some good sized ones of different shapes. I think I might shake out a few more chips here to have more selection. I like that one. We'll put that on. And maybe one of a different shape a little bit. How about this one? And then I want to look and see how they rest together, kind of flip them around to make sure that they rest together. You see how there's a little bit of the eye pin showing? I actually don't like how that rest together. I don't want to see that eye pen, so I'm going to flip it around the other direction. Sometimes that will alleviate that. I just love carnelian. It's so pretty. You know, carnelian is associated with the sacral chakra. Um, so if you'd like to clear your sacral chakra, a lot of people believe that that will help you with that. Um, it also helps promote, or a lot of people believe, that it helps promote creativity, physical activity, and uh, gives you more positive energy. So it's a lovely stone. Okay, so I've got my chips on there. And if we look at the earring here, the, um, the loops go in opposite directions. So we want to make one loop in the opposite direction of the other. That's important for the way this is going to hang. So we see that this loop is going this direction. So I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and bend this so it goes the opposite direction. Grab my rounds and make that simple loop. Great. And I think I'll bend that back a little bit so I can really get at the juncture there where I want to snip that tail off. Oops, wrong direction. You always want to have the flush cutter, the flush side of the cutter against the piece you're keeping. There we go. And then I'll bend that up straight again. Then we'll open up that loop. And now we need to pay attention to the orientation of the earrings. So this is the back of the post here. So, we want to add the links. Okay, so we'll put that on, and I'm just going to, before I finish up, make sure that it's all oriented back. So that's the back of the leaf and the back of the post, that's good. Then I'm gonna take the other one and do the same thing and make sure that it's oriented well. Put that on there. And that naturally is going to hang, so the back is to the back. That's great. Then I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and close up that loop, rock it back and forth to get a nice tight connection. And there you have your gorgeous carnelian earrings. Thank you for being with us today on this video. Make sure and like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time.